Here's a chart of the current tax situation when it comes to estate and gift taxes. So if you look at the top of the chart, you can see that this is a uh, moving target. So as attorneys and CPAs, we always you know, keep an eye on what is the current state of the law because this is, these numbers are constantly changing. When Congress decides to change the law, the, the, uh, these exemptions are, are, are going to change. So it, the top section, the top half of the chart is for U.S. citizens and permanent residents. So if your clients are U.S. citizens and permanent residents, currently in 2020, they have an $11.58 million exemption. So that's $11,580,000. Now that is a unified credit. So what a unified credit means is it applies to a state gift or generation skipping taxes. So, so a state tax is when the client passes away, gift taxes are transfers made while the client is alive, and generation skipping taxes when they're making gifts or leave inheritance a generation or more down, which will mean grandkids, great great grandkids. So it's a unified credit. So what that means is they can use it while they're alive or they can use it when they pass away. So the exemption is $11.58 million per individual for U.S. citizens and permanent residents. If your clients are married, well, guess what? Double. They have a double exemption, which is you know $23 million. So for you, your U.S. citizens and permanent residents, since there's such a high exclusion, it's going to apply to very uh, you know a small percentage of the population. So what this means is if your client dies this year in 2020, if they're a U.S. citizen or permanent resident and the value of your estate is less than 11.58 million, there's no estate tax. So I'll repeat that. If your client is a U.S. citizen, they die this year in 2020 and the value of their estate is less than $11 million, there is no estate tax. Likewise, they can make gifts while they're alive up to $11.58 million, no gift tax. Okay. Now, this is the law until 2025. If Congress does not act by the end of 2025, this is the current law says that it will sunset. So January 1st, 2026, that $11.58 million exemption goes back down to $5 million. So I repeat, if Congress doesn't take action before 2025 to change this law, it's going to sunset at the end of 2025. And on January 1st, 2026, this exemption goes back down to $5 million scale for inflation for U.S. citizens and permanent residents. All right, now let's look at the bottom half of the chart, non-U.S. residents. Those are our international clients. So if any of your clients are non-U.S. residents and they have businesses or real estate or investment accounts here in the United States and they pass away, they only have a $60,000 exemption. I repeat, Non-U.S. residents, international clients that have assets in the U.S., when they pass away, they only have a $60,000 exemption, not an $11 million exemption, $60,000. And this is not scaled for inflation, and there's no unified credit. So no unified credit means they can't use it while they're alive for gift tax purposes. No, this is only a death tax credit. In addition, it's not scaled for inflation. And this $60,000 has not changed for over 40 years. Okay, so this is something that, that it, is a, it is very important that we look at for our international clients because, you, as you can see, since they have such a small exemption, almost all of our international clients are going to be subject to estate taxes if the value of your U.S. assets are over $60,000, which is basically all my clients. In addition to uh, these uh, to the uh, estate tax, everyone enjoys a $15,000 annual gift tax exclusion. So that means while you're alive, this applies to both non-U.S. residents and U.S. citizens. They both same, share the same annual gift tax exclusion of $15,000 per domain. So what that means is if you're an international client or a U.S. citizen client, you can give the $15,000 a year, gift tax free. That's your annual exclusion every year per domain. So if you have five kids, $15,000 per each child. Okay. And we'll give we'll go over some more examples in a minute. So let's look at some examples of estate taxes. So example number one, is a U.S. citizen dies this year in 2020. Again, for the, for just for example purposes, assume that the, uh, this person was not married, no deductions for expenses, no estate tax plan. Value of their estate, 
16.58 million, less the exclusion, 11.58 million. The taxable balance is $5 million. The max tax rate right now is 40%. So 40% of $5 million is $2 million of estate taxes are due. They're due within nine months after the date of death, unless you file for an extension. Again, this is just a rough estimate only for illustration purposes. Uh, the exact tax due, if you want to see the tax table, it's section 2001C in the Internal Revenue Code. But again, just for illustration purposes, this is just to show that if the value of a U.S. citizen, if their estate is over $11.58 million, which is the current exemption, they're going to be taxed at the max rate of 40%. Okay, so that's what this illustration shows. Let's look at another example. U.S. citizen dies this year. The value of their state is $5 million. Oh, and I do want to point out for U.S. citizens of permanent residence, the value of their worldwide estate is taken into account. Okay, so if you're a U.S. citizen and permanent resident, the IRS will look at the value of your worldwide estate, not just your U.S. side of assets. So that's a huge difference for non-residents and U.S. citizens is for U.S. citizens, it's your worldwide estate. So here, U.S. citizen, they died this year, 2020. Their worldwide estate is $5 million. Well, that's less than the exclusion of 11 million, so no estate taxes are due. And the final example, this is the ticking time bomb, which is the title of the presentation. Non-US resident, international client, they die this year in 2020. $2 million of their US situs estate. So again, if you're a non-resident, international clients, we, we only take into account your U.S. situs assets, not worldwide assets. $2 million uh, U.S. Uh, situs estate. Their exclusion, remember, they only have $60,000. Taxable balance is $1.9 million and change, 40% tax rate. That's over $700,000 in estate taxes that, that are due on this $2 million estate. They're due nine months after date of death unless you file for an extension. So again, you can see how devastating this, uh, this estate tax can be for your international clients if no action is taken. So another example of this is that Mexican family that just hired me a couple of weeks ago that their uncle passed away four years ago and they you know, they've paid over $108,000 in penalties, just in penalties. The tax is several hundred thousand dollars over that. 